So we're just going to get right into it. I've got about 10 slides that are just going to give you the antibody, the disease, and I'm going to drop a sick mnemonic for you. These are not going to be all inclusive. I'm going to go rapidly through these. This is just meant to kind of go over the, the autoantibodies that might be a little bit more difficult to remember. Um, so again, this is not a complete list. This is just going to supplement your studying with some quick, dirty mnemonics. So let's get right into it. First antibody we're talking about is the antihistone antibody, and that is um, the antibody associated with drug-induced lupus. So the mnemonic here is that you get histoned on drugs. Uh, we'll start you off pretty easy. Histoned on drugs, antihistone antibodies with drug-induced lupus. The next one is the anti-JO1 antibody. It's associated with dermatomyositis. Um, this one is really nice. So anti-JO1 hard to remember. So the way that I think about this is that dermatology is the field in medicine that is said to have the cushiest lifestyle. So dermatologists have so much time in their day, in their morning, that they can sip their cup of joe in the morning. So um, we refer to coffee as a cup of joe. And if you're a dermatologist and don't have to start your day until 10 in the morning, well, lucky you, you must have killed USMLE. But dermatologists have so much time that they can sip their cup of joe for joe one. And of course, derm, uh, in dermatologists for dermatomyositis. So the anti jo one antibody for dermatomyositis. The anti-centromere antibody is um, the antibody associated with Crest syndrome. So when I think of this, I think about Crest toothpaste. And I think about how you use Crest toothpaste to clean the central teeth. So whenever you smile, the teeth that everybody looks at are your front two teeth right there in the central or centromere, if you will, area and Crest, obviously, for Crest syndrome. So we use Crest toothpaste to clean the central teeth. If you don't have a nice central teeth, then your smile is probably ugly. Moving on, the anti-U1 RNP for ribonuclear protein, or whatever it is, uh, antibody. That's associated with mixed connective tissue disorder. This one always gave me trouble until I came up with a mnemonic because, like, there's a lot going on here. Anti-U1 RNP, and, and usually on uh, boards, it's actually written out. They'll write out ribonuclear or whatever the P is, peptide protein, whatever. So you need to remember this. The way that I think about this is U1 reminds me of the band U2. And because U2 has so many awards, they've won like something like 22 Grammys or something like that, U2 must mix up all of their awards. So U1 reminds me of U2 and then mix for mixed connective tissue disorder. So the band U2, which again means the, is the U1 from anti-U1, must mix up all their awards. Uh, nice mnemonic, and I actually uh, may, have, may have gotten a point on that on my exam. Anti-smooth muscle antibody is associated with autoimmune hepatitis. A lot of students get, uh, get really mixed up between the anti-smooth muscle antibody and the anti-Smith antibody. So let's just, um, let's get this down once and for all. So when I think about uh, this one, my mnemonic has to do with Michael Jackson. So Michael Jackson wrote a song called, in the song, it was Smooth Criminal. It's a really good song. You should listen to it if you have no idea what I'm talking about. And those of you familiar with Michael Jackson will know that anytime he did his patented leg kick, he would always make a noise. And I'm going to attempt to impersonate his noise, but it was, ah. He always would go, ah. So when I think of that, I say, ah, a smooth criminal. And the AH stands for autoimmune hepatitis, and smooth criminal is the anti-smooth muscle antibody. So if you're confused between the anti-smith antibody and the anti-smooth muscle, this is how we're going to learn the difference, is ah, a smooth criminal. Again, AH for autoimmune hepatitis, and a smooth criminal, smooth clues us in that we're talking about the anti-smooth antibody and not the anti-Smith antibody. That's it. That's our rapid review. I hope you guys get some points because of this.